Hi friends, welcome back for another video. Today is a home goods haul. You might notice some trinkets are missing from my little spooky bookshelf behind me. That's because I already decorated with a lot of the stuff that I got at home goods, but I wanted to pull it off the shelves and show you guys what I picked up this year. So to start, I got this awesome skeleton creepy hand holding mystic ball. It does light up, if you guys can see. This is very like heavy duty and very nice quality, I think. So it is a really cool piece, I think. And I love that although it is shinier, they definitely made it look kind of old and like dingy, if that makes sense. Um, I don't have the price tag on this anymore, but I think it was about $24.99. Um, so yeah, cool little mystic ball. Next up, I got some really freaking cool candlesticks. I love these. I haven't found a candle holder from them yet, but I've just, just been displaying them in the corners. So first I have this set of gold skull candlesticks. As you can see, there's a wick up there at the top and it's kind of like a um, textured gold that they did to make them look, you know, kind of old and used, which is a really cool so like I said, I've just kind of been displaying them, um, kind of standing up in the back just to add some height on the bookshelf. And I think they look pretty cool that way. I would love to get some candlesticks to hold them, but for now, that'll do. I also picked up the same exact ones in this cool, glossy black again i just think these are so cool i think they also had them in white and maybe silver but don't quote me on that so go to your local home goods see if you can find these i think they're really cool for just yeah they kind of remind me of like a like a summoning stick or something i don't know i just really really like them a lot next up i have these awesome sets of stacked skulls when I originally was thinking about the idea for this, I wanted to do what I was calling catacomb chic, AKA lots of skulls and bones and stuff. But then as I started putting it together, it kind of more gave off that like haunted apothecary, like dark academia almost vibe. But I still love these. They go on the very top because that's the only place that they'll fit. They're way too tall for a shelf. These were $16.99 each. And like I said, I got two. I feel like when I'm buying Halloween decor, I buy a lot of sets um, just because it's nice to be able to put two of the same things up. And I don't know. I just feel like I buy a two, buy like a set a lot of times when I find stuff that I really, really like. Okay, next up is this really fun sign that I got for my living room um, Hocus Pocus themed display. The main reason that I got it is because I love the little black hat reminding me of Binks. And then we've also got a witch broom and a little cauldron. So I figured this was like a fun side piece for um, my TV stand. As you can see, it has some webs on it that it doesn't come like that. I added those because um, I added some webs on that display. But I just thought it was really fun. And the kind of color scheme for my Hocus Pocus living room is orange and black. So I also love the pop of orange in the top and I just thought it tied the thing together really well. So little, little haunted house woodland statue. Oh, and this was, oh, the price tag's gone. I wanna say it was about $25 as well though. Next up, I got a couple of candle holders. This one is $9.99 and it is just plain black glossy glass. I mainly got this just to add height to anything that I needed to display. Right now it's been holding up this skeleton and I actually do have a second one that my Binks statue is on, on my Hocus Pocus display, but I figured you guys would get the get the idea if I just showed you the one. So yeah, these are great for just like I said, adding a little height to anything that needs to be lifted to add kind of some levels and dimension to whatever display you're doing. I also got these absolutely bad ASS candle holders. They had an entire side table that was like this, but a giant version and I almost bought it, but I really thought Brendan would draw the line at me being of, of me. I really thought Brendan, can't talk, would draw the line at me buying full on Halloween furniture. So I didn't because I felt like that was maybe crossing a line. 
So this small one was $19.99 and it is full glass. Like, I don't know if you guys can really tell. Yeah, you can see through the, like, the bottom, but it is like completely glass. And I just think it's the most gorgeous thing ever. This bigger one was $24.99. And I think they look so cool together. I think these are so unique. Like, I'm just obsessed with them. And the side table was basically this one. But this obviously was like a full-on table. And this was obviously like a giant because it was a table, not just a candlestick. But it was very cool. And if I spot it again, I might just buy it because I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. So maybe I just need to do it. Okay, next up I've got a couple of candles. First, I have this giant Red Leaf Home Wooden Wick Harvest Leaves candle. This is a big old fat boy that we put in the living room. We've already burnt it a ton. It's such a good, like, fresh, homey fall scent. I really am liking this one. If I spot it again, I'm probably gonna get another one. Just because I don't know. I feel like it's just not so pumpkin-y it's like screaming pumpkin in your face because brendan doesn't love pumpkin but it still has that like warm fall vibe to it that is just so cozy it says that it's a blend of red cedar moss balsam and spiced musk oh, it's so good you guys seriously highly recommend this candle then i got this matching little set of candles um these were 9.99 each and they're actually the exact same scent but this one is in a white little jar that says apple cider i love buying candles that i feel like can double as decor because i feel like it just is a good spend if you can like use it functionally but then also display it later so i got this one and then this one i like even more because it more so matches the vibe of my decor but i'm currently burning it right now so i'm going to be careful it says witch's potion and it's in all black but like i said it's the exact same scent so um yeah and it's kind of like an apple -y, like a fresh apple -y scent i really like it in here because it's near the kitchen and i just feel like the freshness um of that scent goes really nicely in a kitchen all right is this the last item this is the last item look at me go okay so last i got three sets or three old books First, I got this one that is a fortune telling book and obviously it's just those like little storage books, but it says fortune teller on the side. It was $9.99 and I just thought it would look nice on my shelf. I also tried to make sure that I stuck to the color scheme of kind of like neutrals, darks, and like a little pop of orange. So you'll see on this one that again, it's kind of that neutral dark tones, but there is a little bit of a pop of orange on it. This one is a little bit bigger and it was $12.99 and obviously it says psychic reading and then it also says it on the side. And then lastly, I mainly got this because I love this little girl on the front, even though you can't see her when I display her. This one was also $12.99, but I just love this creepy little child witch. Like she's so fun. And then it says witch's handbook and this one is kind of completely orange. So I stocked them kind of off kilter like so for my bookshelf and I just think they look really nicely together or look really nice together go really nicely together so yeah that is everything I've picked up so far this season from home goods if you enjoyed this little haul please give it a like and hit that subscribe button down below to come hang out with me more on the channel I'm doing 61 days of Halloween all through September all through October so make you sure you subscribe for all the Halloween content your heart could desire I hope you graze you graze I hope you ghouls and gays have a great day That's my new channel motto. I hope you ghouls and gays have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh my God. Perfect.